What's going on, everybody? It's me, Dries. And this is Dries Speaks 29. Triangular travel. I'll explain that in a minute. But first, let's give some props to the latest viewers and subscribers. Something to note for you, Casco, in the carnival in Baranakia. Please respect the jukes. Not talking about just the civilians. Not talking about just the thugs. But, of course, you're in South America. So you also have to watch out for those popos. You know, the police. In Colombia by now, I'm pretty sure those police are under a lot of stress with the influx of Venezuelans into the country as of late. You know, take your job, for instance. You know you've been asked to do something where you said to yourself while you were doing it, I don't get paid enough for this shit. So just imagine that as a policeman. You already got enough problem with the Colombians, now you gotta deal with Venezuelans too. But you making 500 to 900 a week. These are policemen making 200 to 300 a month. So why are you there? Please watch for the jokes. The bribe is real, player. Moving on. Back here in the States, can't forget about the big game this week. I mean, that is, if you're not protesting. So who y'all got? Patriots or the Saints? Ah, I, I mean the Rams. If my favorite squad ain't in it, I just pull for the team that's closest to my house. And since I don't have a dog in this race, I'm just looking for this game to be a good game. But if I'm betting, I'm going to look forward to the New England Patriots covering the spread. As far as coverage is concerned, you're always going to have Super Bowl press conferences leading up to the big game. And so far, I've been watching a lot of Stephen A. Smith. And one thing, y'all ever realize he do a lot of cussing? Listen. Hey, I don't give me that bullshit. I don't give me that bullshit. <laughs> what would the ATL have been like if the Saints were in the Super Bowl? That Stephen A. Smith is something. Well, it's time for the third edition of Dreesus Caribbean Triangle. This footage comes from WTU correspondents in Bogota and Medellin, respectively. And if you have anything that you would like to have showcased on my post or in me, Richard Richard's show, once he returns from lockdown, please feel free to hit me up in the about section of my YouTube page. Enjoy, people. WTU, WTU, what's up, fellas? They're doing some work on this building. It's kind of loud. Let's see what kind of day it is today. Yeah, it's a pretty decent day today. Let's go to the top. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Let's see what it is out here, man. Let's see what kind of day it is. <sighs> okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not a bad day. Decent. Slight overcast, but Yo. it's definitely not hot. Pretty mild today. That's it. Area. All right, it's Bogota. Man, I'm getting these old these old shoes cleaned up, man. Um. They didn't been through it, man. I didn't been in the hood. 
than everywhere, man. I gotta get these shits clean, man. Before I come back to America. I can't come back to America all contaminated, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh yeah, for real. Más tarde, más tarde. Trap. That was clever. No, I can't zoom in real quick. I don't, I don't want to move right now. footage that you would like to have showcased on my post or me and Richard Richard's live show on Sunday nights at 9 feel free to hit me up in the all footage will be edited properly for showcasing and now for tonight's topic tonight's topic is what I like to call triangular travel to start I got my passport near the end of 2016 by the end of 2017, I went to Medellin for the first time. Six months after that, I went to Sassua in Dominican Republic for the first time. And a few months from now, I'll be in Sao Paulo, Fortaleza, and eventually Rio, Brazil. Thus giving me a destination in the east of the Caribbean, the west of the Caribbean, and somewhere else further down in the southern hemisphere not giving me a perfect triangle but a triangle nonetheless this is what i like to call triangular travel and i will have made that triangle a complete triangle by june the purpose of international travel is to put stamps into your passport knowing that i have a passport myself it is time to put new stamps in it so I'm looking at new destinations in the east of the Caribbean, the west of the Caribbean, as well as somewhere else in the southern hemisphere to give me a second triangle. These places on the eastern side of the Caribbean will be either Trinidad, Barbados, or Haiti. And in the southern hemisphere, I'm looking at either going to Uruguay, Paraguay, or Chile. And as far as out west, I have to keep Medellin in the rotation because every November, that's where I feel I have to be. At least that's where I'm going to be until this passport runs out. Reaching out to my subscribers, reaching out to my viewers. If you have any suggestions as far as a place that you would like to see or a place that you would like to go, feel free to hit me up with an email that you can find in the about section on my YouTube page and we could talk about it. I might sponsor a group trip, get everybody together, and roll the fuck out.
This is Dreeze. And this is Dreeze Speaks 29. Triangular travel. Jedi. What would the ATL have been like if the Saints were in the Super Bowl instead of the Rams? Oh, don't give me the emotion. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. It would never happen. It would never happen. That's why it didn't happen. It'll never happen. Please.